Okay, Scorpio, this is your reading for March 2021. Um, got a lot of decks here. The Dream of Gaia, Tarot, Tarot of the Divine, seems to be carrying universal energies. Uh, Wisdom in the House of Night, <sighs> Zodiac deck, and TLC for your soul. Those are the bumper cards. Okay. So I'm just going to get into it here. <laughs> uh, Dreams of Gaia, first card for Scorpio. We have the Ten of Fire. Uh, okay, so we have some energy here. Chakra system is lit up, talking about advancement in the spirituality department. This is a spiritual reading, by the way. We have tools here. <laughs> Hammer and a chisel, looks like. If I were to venture a guess that the Scorpio is dealing with chiseling away something here, maybe in the emotional center, maybe in our knowledge, uh, maybe towards others is really what I'm getting. <laughs> Trying to uncover something outside of ourselves. So I'll just leave that lay there and we'll continue with the cards. No, oh, excuse me. The Ten of Air. This speaks to about a, a it speaks to illumination to me. Again, I'm non-traditional with the cards. There's a lot of butterflies transforming energy here, and she's up in light and beautiful, vibrant colors, but she's looking into the darkness. And the eye, right? The third eye is open. So there's a sense of looking into things in a in a psychic way, uh, intuitively, either seeking for answers in this way or seeking the answers um how do you say trying to get answers in this way is really what i'm getting about things around us and then once we get our instinct for, there, there's a distance i feel a great distance uh with the scorpios here now either we're on the wrong frequency give me a minute here because the Whenever I see that chakra system light up, it gives me a sense of evolution here. We're evolving up the chain. And again, activity, active, um, activated. But when I look into this card here, the 10 of air, all the butterflies are talking about transformation. And again, she's looking into the abyss for answers. So it's great darkness in there. And there's a need to transform to get the answers and then come back out to so either we are um we are sitting in a low vibration trying to get high vibrational answers or the other way around or vice versa where we are in a high vibration but trying you know uh, wondering about low vibrational stuff um and they go that <laughs> they just said that's not our department so <laughs> they're letting you off the hook there we really don't need to go back down there down there right we uh what's the point here if we're of a higher frequency because all the evidence points to an evolution here so why are we going down to look for answers um so be aware of that energy there I, I think we're aware of it but maybe not um yeah not uh okay the next card 22 intuition yeah and don't she look kind of devious there there's a spider here that's spinning a web so i feel like here we go this is what it is we have a scorpio or scorpionic energy where we are dealing with advancing forward we are in transition phase to lighter brighter things we may have a scenario here where we are looking into dark energies that are beyond us in in the negative way but we want to look into that to understand that they're going why it's beyond us like we've surpassed that it's like looking at grade three work when we're in grade seven why do we got to do that we've learned it we, you know we don't need to go back there so there's something here either it's a temptation to go backwards or needing answers or figuring we need answers we don't really need this kind of thing that's what it is and there's a web being weaved in order to by the scorpio to find out or by the person or thing that is tempting them 
to, you know, there's a web being weaved nonetheless. I feel like for some, um, it's the Scorpios looking into things or trying to weave a web in, in a lower vibration as they're evolving, <laughs> which makes no sense. Because basically, uh, one step forward, five steps back. But also we could be pulled in by another energy that's in lower frequency. Okay, so the next card from the Wisdom of the House of Night. <laughs> um, on the Ten of Fire, we have self-worth. Yeah. See, that's the hammer, right? And the chisel. We're trying to chip away at what? At answers of a lower vibration. Why? <laughs> they're they're going there's no point here like what are we doing um this is only going to hurt us in the self-worth department and it seems yet this is where we're going to go um yeah it will damage our self-worth to find these answers so if we're willing to do this then go ahead but they're going we don't think it's worth the effort the struggle right so as we go on the ten of air we have 19, which speaks to wishing. Yeah, because look at this card on the 10 of air. We are still in the light. We are all in light. We're illuminated quite highly. We're in the zone, but we're still focusing on the darkness. We're wishing for something. So we may have had something in the darkness that still has a pull to us. Okay, is really what I'm getting. We're being pulled by darkness here. Um, and this may be something we had wished for or wishing for, or again, I feel like answers are really the root of what we're looking for here, but nonetheless has to do with something we're wishing for. Could also get, you know, the further we go into finding out these answers, the further away we get from our wish coming true is really what I get. Now on the intuition here, what do we get to expand there? Confidence. It's very close to another reading we had. <laughs> um, yeah, our intuition, we were quite confident in our intuition to figure things out. The thing is, is uh, yeah, I'm getting a smacking of the fingers universally. <laughs> it's like, don't go there. It's like checking the, how do you say, checking the cake before it's cooked and then it goes flat, this kind of thing. It's going to ruin things. But we, we do have a high intuition, and yes, uh, we are being kept from things, but have um, have the foresight to know, or the, the hope to know, that this is for our highest good. That we don't know until we do know. Because um, that's the sense, is that the Scorpio may be coming across something intuitively that once they do, it can ruin their future. That's what I'm getting. I don't know how that works, but that's what they're saying. The web that is woven, it can ruin our future. Because we have a high confidence in our intuition. And this may foul things up, is what they said. Okay, so third line. As we go forward, we again have the chakra system and the fire, the ten of fire. We're talking about self-worth here. From the Scorpio's vantage point. They feel they they need the answers to gain the self-worth. And they're going, this is complete opposite of what is actually true. Because if we go in here and we find the answers, our self-worth will be trashed. All that we've gained so far will have kind of gone down the drain. So self-worth, we get the Queen of Coins. I feel like the Queen of Coins is what we can gain if we go forward and just leave this be leave it be um it's like uh, you know uh opening a wound or something here is really what i'm getting queen of coins is very abundant just very stable sturdy strong grounded energy she knows what she's doing and when we don't know what we're doing have faith that that's meant to be the way that it, you know, it's meant to be. That we're not supposed to know. If we don't know, we're not supposed to know. Because the Scorpios have a great depth of intuition, feeling, sensing, all of that. And because of that, we can uncover things that's not in our highest good to know, not in our highest good to see. It can actually damage our way forward. 
And this is really, I'm getting this over and over again. But the Queen of Coins is really the flip side of this energy. It's like, if we make the right decision and put our nose at, to the future instead of looking into the darkness, we can end up in the Queen of Coins being um, stable in our finances, being secure and um, great stability within ourselves and outside of ourselves in the physical universe, this can happen. And they're going in and it all can be taken away if we continue to go where we're not supposed to go. It's kind of like a kid going into a haunted house for the first time. They don't know, but they're curious. And then they come out and they're crying. And they're like, ah, and they're scared. And everywhere they look, you know, is freaking them out. It's kind of like that. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, they're so damn curious we could end up ruining our future. This is what I'm getting again. So anyway, <laughs> on the Ten of Air, again, that's the looking into the darkness to find out. There's a transformation happening. Embrace the transformation. Forget about the darkness. There's a wishing for something, for answers. I feel they keep saying answers. We got questions and there's no answers. They're looking for those answers. Universally, what do we get? Strength card. Is in our strength to keep wishing for what it is that we want to wish for this is overcoming that and i feel like you know the strength here they're going we can overcome this pull to the darkness it may be in certain areas that this is what we're doing we may be pulled uh, in a darker way and look at all the mushrooms in this strength card talking about the spirituality here now it's interesting to me they have like a lion crocodile thing going on <laughs> Hmm. And usually they have her quite relaxed, but here she's being fierce. She is exerting her strength. So the sense is, is that we are going to have to exert our strength to look away from the darkness, right? It's like, look away from the light. No, keep your eye on the light. Look away from the darkness. It's like a, someone's being tugged into the darkness here, being tempted very much so. And it's taking all of their strength. Now, this is right down the center. There's something here at the heart of things that we are wishing for. They're going, we could still wish for this, but quit going backwards. Okay, so there's something here. Uh, there's a disconnect here. Again, <laughs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> there's an understanding Scorpio does not have. They feel there's something missing that they need to seek out. They would be right, but this is not the time to do it. The future will uncover these naturally down the road. When it is more conducive, when we are at our full strength and potential. We do it now and we reduce our power by like leaps and bounds. Like it just almost like it can't be recovered. And it does such damage that we cannot come back from it. So we do not want to go there because of that. In the future, when we bring our power up to 95%, and then we go and we deal with this, it'll bring us down to 50%, we can deal with that. We're still above. We're, still, we're at 50%, we can still work our way above. But if we're at 50% now, and we go and we take that hit, and we go down to 5%, what's going to happen? This, we're not prepared for results here. I'm getting a strong, stern, strict energy. Don't go no more in this direction. You've been warned. That's what they're saying. It's going to take all our strength, but just, again, we're wishing for something. Keep wishing, but don't go to the darkness to figure out any answers here. Because you're, one, oh, well, you may get them, but you're not prepared for them. Okay? And it's not going to end up good. That's really what I'm getting. So just focus on the future. It's brighter. Okay. Intuition, confidence. We have great confidence in our intuition and where it takes us. The universal card we get. Page of Cups. That's about love offerings. This rabbit is running in and out of this kid's um, legs, trying to wrap them up in a new love. This is what this, you know, is doing. So we have like six moons there. 
talking about emotions, overwhelming emotion, the flow of it, and the water, his cup is full and he's waiting for a partner, and that rabbit's coming in saying, here we go, let's go. We're going to wrap you up in a partner. So this may have to do with partnerships um, in a way. And I, I feel like... Um, hmm, I am going to be careful how you say it has to do with partnerships. I think we have to focus on the future because there is a, a, a romantic tie coming here with the page of the cups. I love these new cards I have. And um, from now on, they're going to be universal energies. That's what they're attuning themselves to be. And I agree because really, if we follow the universal path, our guidance not of the dark, and we know damn well what the dark is here. Because this Scorpio, they know the difference between right and wrong, positive and negative. They know. So they can't say they didn't know. They're just wanting to go in that direction to kind of shit disturb and get answers. But it's not worth it. Okay, so the Queen of Coins, this is the abundance and the calm and the joy that we can feel if we focus on the future. Why? Because there's a new love coming in. I feel like this has to do with old love. We may be curious about why, you know, da da da. It don't matter. It's gone. It's done. Strength card is taking all our strength to not look in a negative perspective here, a negative way, negative, being pulled, no matter. And I do feel this has. Uh, high to revolve around a, a re relationship of some sort and then again the page of cups comes out here to signify that uh, universe getting ready to wrap you up in a new entanglement in a romantic kind of way and just focus on that would ya that's what I'm getting okay last row on the queen of coins energy I'm not even going to go back over the top cards on the queen of coins we get the five of cups that's about great disappointment. Uh, yeah. And this may be why, right? Why we're trying to... We may have taken a hit in our self-worth having to do with... We evolved here. And through this evolution process, we either realized something about a partner or a partner realized something about us. But we've seen it clearly, but it's still hurt nonetheless. Okay? So the Five of Cups is about that disappointment having to do with that partner. That is of the past. <laughs> again, channeling energy here. Okay, the Ten of Air, again, looking into the darkness and being pulled. Uh, wishing for great and wonderful things. It's taken all our strength to resist the darkness. Uh, and the Two of Coins here speaks to balance and wishing and hoping for great things. There is one coin here bigger than another, and it's kind of like looking okay perspective right because that boat looks smaller though it's further away and there's a boat right next to her that's bigger but it is in darkness as well there's a darker field here and then a lighter it's almost like the grass is greener on the other side right so just give me a minute here yeah i feel like the scorpio may be caught up in an energy here of looking at the darkness and thinking that it's going to be better there <laughs> um and how do you explain that to someone who hasn't seen or hasn't been they may have to I don't know if if you're the Scorpio energy that has to go there to figure it out you may be but they're trying to save you from that because it truly is an illusion when we look at that and we see that and we're tempted by that it, it is just kind of things that glitter once we get up close we realize well it's just shiny plastic or whatever you know it's not what I thought it was or maybe they, they thought it was gold coins or whatever. You know what I mean? Like I'm using uh, simile, not similes. I'm using things to <laughs> metaphors. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, grass is greener syndrome is what I get from this two coins here. It's taken all of our, our strength to not go into that dark side and, and tap in there. Okay, so that's down the middle. So this is really the energy that is surrounding and going to be the most hard to deal with. Now on our intuition and whatnot, we get the Queen of Wands. Now this is interesting because our intuition, 
um, our confidence lies in our intuition. The Page of Cups is a universal energy saying, yes, we're going to entangle you with something. And what is that something? Queen of Wands. So for the uh, masculine Scorpios, we're, we may have a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sag that's going to come forth here and show their thing. Now, the amazing thing about the Queen of Wands is she's usually very beautiful. And uh, how would you say... Yeah, like a good looker, right? Uh, she can walk into a room and everybody just stops and stares at her. She's also a lot of great fun. She's a very adventurous. Uh, she takes control of situations quite highly. She's never one to to sit in a corner and be a wallflower. Um, yeah, she's adventurous and fun and good looking and charming and social butterfly. And usually uh, if she enjoys your company, she'll make you feel at home uh, around her. Feel, you know, she feels quite comfortable with everyone. It adapts to any kind of situation. So uh, if you're a masculine, this may be what you're walking into here in the future. If you're feminine, it may be a masculine energy of um, fire that contains fire uh, frequency. So that would be the same traits. Someone who is uh, very good looking, handsome, um, adventurous, uh, goes outward in a way that um, they're not shy. They don't hold back. They're very gregarious, passionate, that kind of thing. So this is the kind of energy that may be coming forth for you here at the end of the month. I do feel um, we really need to get um, either get away from te the temptation that we got here that's pulling us in a certain way. We need to block that out somehow. We need to um, either not be caught going in there, like, you know, it's easy to say, but it's different scenarios here. Just give me a minute. I feel like we have to take a more, um, grounded approach to our life here. We may be caught up again in fantasy and things that we're wishing and smacking it on to something that we really don't know a lot about. And again, the questions are meant to be there, but they're not meant to be answered. And then as we move forward, you know, and gaining strength, grass may not be greener where we see that darkness, right? Because there's no sunlight there to grow underneath our feet type thing. I'm trying to use the analogies to the full ex extent here. Be careful, be careful of the webs that you weave in the way that you go. They're going, no webs, no weaving, <laughs> none of it. We should not be doing this. And if we are in this um, kind of thumb twiddling energy where we're going to go out and create havoc, know that we'll be tied up in that energy. We'll be destroying certain aspects of our life. But if we can control ourselves, gain our strength and go... Again, they're going, yeah, the Scorpio is using their intuition to better them. But we have to look at bettering as a whole. We, we don't want to be one up on someone. We want to be at, at equal footing. And this is what I'm seeing. is like we want to be one up. We want to be on top of. We want to be. And this is not um, just not conducive to, to going in the right way. So be careful of those energies on the wrong side of the tracks darkness is pulling this one heavy but we got a queen of wands coming in the future that might help distract but if we are not out of that energy by the end of the month we may not even uh, notice this energy coming in <sighs> that is scorpio reading holy man um i take deep breaths because it it, it lowered like the frequency i'm dealing with calming my myself so in case that's annoying i just kind of have to do that and now the zodiac card that we have for scorpio <laughs> clips and aries collaborations two and five seven boost relationships through teamwork and compromise now give me a moment here yeah i feel like collaborations is, is about newness in in this card because they're attaching it to that queen of wands energy right because that is aries Aries, that is that element that explains the Queen of Wands. Man, I can't speak. 
they want you to collaborate with new new energies here especially right for the singles is really what i'm getting um someone here is, who's either trying to rip themselves out of a relationship or hung up on a past relationship that is gone but they just can't seem to let go this kind of thing the queen of wands coming in to really bring in that aries energy about collaboration and whatnot um working together the teamwork i feel is is the relationship getting together with someone else other than this dark energy that we're caught up in so tlc for the soul of the scorpio we have the long way around <laughs> are you worried that by going at your own pace you won't realize your heart's yearnings part of your inner debate may very well include the need for emotions of others oh sorry hold on Part of your inner debate may very well include the needs or emotions of others. You may feel that you are inadequate whenever you fall short of their expectations. However, now and then your soul will express an imposing need for tranquility that others may not understand. Therefore, begin by taking notice of the ebb and flow of your natural emotion and body rhythm. When you acknowledge your natural impulse to slow down, you will intuit how best to seize the moment. Be of service to the people in need around you or attend to yourself and do whatever you feel needs doing. Allow moments of sweetness to arise while in the thicket of responsibility. A deep soul call is inviting you to consider parts of your day as a time for just being. So the long way around, I feel like, um, I feel like the long way around is really, I just get a sense here. Someone's hanging on to an old relationship or an old person from the past that we just can't seem to let go. This is what I'm getting. And that's the long way around. We should let go, detach, move forward. But this is causing a delay in going forward with this queen of wands. So I feel like that's the long way. <sighs> Are you worried that by going at your own pace, you won't realize your heart's yearning? And then maybe a need to kind of slow pace here. Enjoy the moment. Um, that will help you. But uh, universally, I feel the Page of Cups coming in here, tying a ribbon around <laughs> the leg of, you know. Um, and I do feel like the Scorpio is ready to go outward lovingly. It's just their focus is in the direction that is moot there's no point in looking backwards we need to go forward so this is what i'm getting okay that was your reading scorpio uh, feel free to check out the uh the overall energy report might on top of all of this help express more what might be going on universally hopefully this helps you take care have fun and be kind